play trade, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol PTX. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just the past couple of days broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis on Friday, so that's where these red and green lines are coming from. But after today's price action, some updates here need to be made. So let's uh, let's do that and get this, uh, you know, these levels kind of cleaned up here. Uh, from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to have a million lines everywhere that can cause clutter and confusion. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these lines down here. Again, sure, they still pertain to the chart, but they're just not really totally relevant given that the price is now all the way up there. The first update that needs to be made comes from a foundational principle in charting, and that states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you want to see them act as support. So for those of you that do remember the last video I did and remember me talking about 305, uh, this would now be considered an area of support and that'd be the ideal level meaning hey clay what would make this chart look the absolute best going forward if the price can hold up above 305 that would by far be you know that best case scenario but if the price does drop below it, by no means am i sitting here saying that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that because from the big picture perspective you have the purple line down here which is the 50 period simple moving average and you know again from the big picture that's the key phrase there as long as the price is up above that purple line then when you stop and think about it, because this line, 50 period simple, moving average, keyword there being moving, is gonna continue to move upwards, and it's gonna essentially look something like that. So when you stop and think about it, well, what does the price need to do in order to stay above a line that's increasing? Well, the price itself needs to continue to increase, and again, that's what truly bullish moves do, right? Over time, they're just gonna continue to increase and put in those higher lows. So 305, ideal level of support, but from the big picture perspective, as long as the price is above the purple line, 50 period simple moving average bulls are in full control. What about areas of resistance? Well, the key level here is $3.40. Again, I talked about this in a previous video. And sure, the price got up above it a few times, but could never maintain above it. And then later on in this afternoon, you can see fell back below it. And then on a couple different occasions, both there and there, tried to get back up above it, but just couldn't you know, even do that anymore. So 340 is still holding strong as resistance. In the event the price can push back through there, then the next key level up there of support gonna be about $3.68, which, has a couple of hist you know, bits of history right here. But before we talk about 368, 370, whatever you want to call it, I mean, we're just talking a couple pennies here. You know, the first level that, you know, needs to be not only broken above, but maintained above is $3.40. So all in all, good start to the week, good volume still. It'll be interesting to see if the bulls can continue to build upon this upwards move for the next four days. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means, click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point. And like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.